In this video I'm riding north from the city of Bordeaux, heading towards Angoulême and then into the Dordogne. But first, I've got to get out of Bordeaux, which is proving a little tricky. You might have noticed I've got a Garmin Varia rear radar on here. It's not really been ideal in town um, or on the bike paths because it picks up cars that are coming that are not on your bike path as it were but now it looks like I'm going to be heading out onto a road I'm not sure but if I am then I think the Vario will be handy I failed to find a supermarket to buy some food so stopped at a tiny takeaway this may be a brilliant idea or a real mistake but I saw this little pizza place by the side of the road and I'm not too sure what I'm going to come across uh, my second vegetarian pizza and my second meal in France I think I may have to start eating meat again. Well, that's a welcome sign. If this bridge looks a bit like the Eiffel Tower laid on its side, then that's not surprising, because it was built in 1883 by the one Gustave Eiffel. It was then refurbished again in 2018, and this very good cycleway added. It's absolutely great being back in France. I've just realized we're well into this ride and I haven't really told you what's going on. I'm riding from Bordeaux to a small town in the Dordogne to stay with my old friend Alistair. It's about 140 miles, but I'm starting late, having spent the morning touring Bordeaux. That's the previous video. So today's ride is shorter, about 60 miles, with more than 80 to come tomorrow. vineyards of Bordeaux. You go to some places in France and you see lots of degustation du vin. You can, you can try it, they're trying to sell you some. Not here, these are some of the world's greatest wines. They ain't giving free samples. But now I'm developing a clunk, each crank revolution, and it's not the pedals. Can you hear that? That's not very good, and neither is my route. Time to do a little bit of a replanning. Uh, my commute route took me through there, which is a quarry that's, uh, as you might imagine, closed to the public. Yeah, I have no idea how that ended up on OpenStreetMap as a route that cyclists could use. <laughs> I think you might get crushed. Oh my word, that has seen better days. You saw the idea of the small pizza back there, it was a bit too big and rather than waste it I put some in a poly bag to bring with me but under the bungee oh, Right, it's actually become a kind of consolidated gungy mess I don't know whether I want to eat this oh, Still tastes good but it's dripping everywhere no, I've only got one set close Okay, here we go again. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be allowed to go through there. Oh. <laughs> Great. So that's the second time. First was a quarry and the second time looks like it was a cement works. <laughs> now the really interesting thing about this is, I'd show you this but you can't see it, is that this is EV3. Eurovelo Route 3 goes right through there, it would seem. That is something I can fix on OpenStreetMap, but perhaps the growing clunk in my crank is more tricky. I'm seven miles from my accommodation and it looks like there's a cycleway all the way. And it just so happens my friend Alistair called, just as I was sat here taking some pictures and he's calling back. He thinks it's, uh, he thinks my crank is loose. Hello. Hello. I didn't describe the problem well, and I now realise the crank was unlikely, but as of this moment I'm focused on finding someone with an 8mm Allen key to remove and tighten that crank. The place I'm heading to tonight, Vin Richard. In the morning I was thinking, oh, I hope it's a comfy place, hope it's quiet, hope they've left out some food for me, which they said they would. 
Now I'm riding along thinking, hope they've got an eight millimeter Allen key. Yeah, if you need the okay. tool, that's, that's, I think that's there. No, that's fine. I've taken the crank arm off, they had the eight millimeter, and put it back on again, tightened it up. It was very tight, so I kind of doubtful it was that. I think I'm just gonna go and get cleaned up now and put the bike away. It's probably the best thing. I should spend almost all the way to Angoulême on a bike path. Just got to get to it. Chilly mornings, but the sun's up and I think that cold will melt away pretty quick. I got a message from Alistair when I was having my breakfast that he was leaving his house. That was about uh, 6.45 and somewhere along the way we're going to meet. I've used Google's uh, tracking to send him my position. I could have used Kamut. He's coming out and hopefully we will meet somewhere along the way. He'll take one of my sacks, which will be good. <coughs> and then we'll ride. It's going to give him quite a long day too. But he's a 10,000 mile a year cyclist, so he can handle it. Very clearly this is an old railway line, like the Sustrans ones. In fact, that looks like an old French station. Obviously this is not the most interesting cycling, Bonjour. but it is getting me to where I need to be rather quick. And I think after this it will become a little bit more, more interesting. Oh, there's a rabbit. Oh, it's a hare. Far too quick for me to get the camera on. Did you hear that? My clunk has returned. It's probably something as simple as the pedals or the SPD attachment point. You might have noticed I've only come with one water bottle. That's because I wasn't going through any kind of remote area, so why bother carrying almost an extra kilo? And that means I have to find some, some place to get some water. Shouldn't be too difficult. Decided it was a little too early to hunt around in supermarkets. The food. Then Alistair called. He was approaching the same town on the road. There's a there's a bar to back right in in the centre of Chateauneuf because I've just been there. Uh, and just bought just bought a, a water. Um, so I'll I'll go back and meet you there. Ah. Well, hello. We're allowed to do this now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Good to see you again. I know. I was right in the middle, where the mayor's office was. Yeah, okay. I thought that's where you were. Like. Well, I, you know what it is? I, 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 sorry, I, I, I was looking for you. I kicked that over. If that's too cold, let me know. I'll get another one. So Alistair's already ridden 55 miles to get here. I've done 30. So he's going to go, going to do over 100 today. Um, I'll be doing about 86. Yeah, it's going to be about right. <laughs> Straight over and up the hill. I made the schoolboy error when I hooked up with Alistair there of going off at his pace, not my own. Because we have a feeling there might be a shop down here. Yeah, definitely on the lookout for a place to buy a baguette. See what you can see. More attuned to the French language, Alistair spotted something that said food truck. It was a duvert. Well, that couscous was good. On his way here, Alistair had the good sense to uh, actually look at the route and follow EV3 that went along by the river, which would have been much nicer, but at least I'm getting, getting to see the centre of Angoulême. I like a bit of variety. There you go. Somewhere different. Bit of variation. Bloody clunk is still there.
these are all resistance fighters there's another one there on the corner on the corner of the road there's a one down there where the trees where there's a gap in the trees where the car is there's another one a little bit further on over the bridge on the road to San La Chapelle San Robert there's another two and they were basically caught dragged out the wood shot hung up in a tree as an example to the local resistance to not bother resisting don't bother resisting it didn't work clearly everybody's name gets read out it's on memorial sunday yeah. you know. i wonder if this will be happening in ukraine 70 80 years on oh yeah yeah I like that they've got a countdown on the traffic lights. I'm quite glad of the break. That's why I stopped. I wasn't just... We just <laughs> you'd you'd just, have kept going. Kept going <laughs> so there you go. There's a fucking legal reason to... There's a fucking legal requirement to stop. Two years ago, I was riding down this very hill and I posted a video on it. Uh, ride in the rain, I think it might be called. I tried to go out with a French club ride and they don't ride in the rain. So I did, Hallister was working. I'm pretty sure I came to Nontron. Here's me thinking to, I'm gonna get a day off tomorrow, but tomorrow it's a club ride. So if there's the opportunity, I'm gonna take it. So just been chatting about what we're gonna do over the next week. And while I'd still quite like to do that three day tour, it might not be possible to do it in a one because Alastair has quite a bit of work on and I've obviously got to work around that so I'll keep that as an aspiration as of right now don't really know what we're going to be doing but you'll find out in the next video so please subscribe, give me a thumbs up I'll see you again next time you're subscribed aren't you? yes you are cows they subscribe to MooTube <laughs>